Hi, for today's video, I thought I'd talk about uh, a project I did earlier in the week and just uh, show you a few tools. I found this bowl of soup that I wanted to put in this empty bowl and uh, just for a quick ad. And so I found these online. These are uh, clip art. And uh, make sure you have permission to use it before you do, needless to say. But um, let's see how I can get this soup into the bowl. Now I'm looking at this, there's going to be a problem. First of all, it's already in a bowl, but I want it in this bowl. And it doesn't reach the end of the photo. It's been cropped. So let's make this work in a fairly realistic manner. I'll draw a big square around this. I'm going to explain why I'm doing all this stuff. Make sure you have enough room. Okay, and that square is clear with no color, no outline. All right, so if I select both of these and convert it to a bitmap, transparent background, it's important. Use a medium resolution, and there we go. Now that's a bitmap with a transparent background, which is important. Remember that. And uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is draw an ellipse using the bowl as a guide. Uh, an ellipse, of course, is uh, if you look at a circle from the side, it will appear as an ellipse. Now what I'm doing with this ellipse is trying to get establish the trailing edge so I'm not worried about the front right now but I'm looking at the back of the bowl and picturing the blue thing as uh, let's pretend it was full of some water or something and I eyeball it till it looks about right good enough okay so now I will remember this is transparent so I'm going to go to Edit Bitmap in my soup with the big square around it. And Edit Bitmap will take me to Corel Photo Paint, which is what I like about this program. You can go back and forth. If I have to work on a photo, I'll just go in here. If I want to do vector, I'll go back. And this uh, light green you see back here is the transparent background. Now, it's not going to be light green on your system because... I set this myself. You can you can set your transparent background to be whatever color you want, depending on what you're working on. All right, so if I go back to Corel Draw, like that, I'm going to make a bitmap out of that, too. First, I'm going to copy it in case I need it later, but um, convert this to a bitmap. It doesn't matter what color it is, because we're going to, Use the same resolution, transparent background. Okay. Now it's a bitmap, so I'm going to copy it. Control uh, C or copy to my clipboard. Go back to Corel Photo Paint and that's my telephone. And paste it on here in the same resolution. Uh, there it is. And uh, I can probably enlarge it a little bit because it, it'll stay the same shape and I don't care if it goes over the edge as long as it stays within the green now remember this is the shape of the bowl so the chili I mean the soup has to fill it up now I can't go up this way I'm at the end of my selection here alright so you can see it when you paste something it pastes it on pastes it on its own layer so that's what that does and then I'm going to make a mask right here mask create from object I have that object selected now it's a mask a mask prevents you from going over the border when you're doing any kind of work so I'm going to turn this off so I can't look at it and now we have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of soup to fill in on both sides, but that's what this uh, big square is for. Gives us enough room to work with it. So I'm going to go over here to my clone tool, which is right here. Uh, make sure I'm on the right layer. There we go. 
And the clone tool is a brush. Uh, so you can set the size and the transparency and the volume, but usually I just work with the transparency. I like to give it, you can experiment. This is a 40 transparency. What that means is it's not going to just draw right over here. It's going to gradually draw. There's my phone again. Um, anyway, this mask is going to keep it within the confines of my ellipse. So if you've ever worked with, oh, it, the uh, brush I meant to show you, you can change the size up here, 40, uh, or you can just hold down shift and use your mouse to drag the size to whatever you want. I'm going to do it about there. Now, what the clone tool does is samples um, the bitmap from one area and paints it onto the other. So since this is kind of a random looking thing, I'll just choose a generic area of it here, right there. See if I can paint this in, in a fairly realistic uh, manner. Uh, I'm getting out of my boundary here. But it just fills in all those potatoes and carrots and things. If you hear me slap the thing twice, that's my uh, keyboard. Uh, my uh, space bar that turns clone on and off. So now I'm going to sample a different place. Fill that in a little bit. I'm going to sample here. Sample that. Go over here. Just fill it in with the random soup stuff. And that's probably good enough like that. Um, now that I have that, I am going to invert my mask right here mask invert because now I want to keep that and if I just click uh, control X that's cut and it cuts away all the background that wasn't in the mask now that I'm done with that I need to delete this object so it's not part of my file uh, right here delete selected and I'm done. So I just click out of here. And what it's going to do, it's going to ask if I want to save it. Yes, I do. All right, we're getting somewhere. So remember, I used that blue bitmap to, to crop this. So now they're the same shape, although they're not the same size. But you can see it's the same uh, ellipse. It's, uh, this is... 3.458 inches wide, so I'll do the same thing with here. Um, 3.458 inches wide, and it's proportional, so now these are the same, like that. And now, I'll get the chili or the soup down in the bowl, bring it to the front, and that's getting a little bit more real looking. get it where you want it but the front edge is still fake because it looks like it's coming out of the bowl so I'll send this to the back it's back there now I'm going to do a new ellipse I don't want that anymore I'm going to do a new ellipse and I'm looking at the the leading edge of the bowl the front edge and I'm not looking at the bowl itself I'm looking at the lip of the bowl. See that? So I want this to be to follow the lip of the bowl like this, like that, a little bit less, a little bit more. I mean you, you just have to keep messing with it till it looks pretty close. There. Now remember if I hit if I dig for alt click we'll find my original and I'll bring it to the front. All right, now remember this ellipse is perfectly matched, well, as close as I felt like doing it, to the bowl. And I'll give it a color like that. I'll bring it to the front so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, and now I'm going to use this uh, yellow ellipse with a, a blue or whatever color rectangle like this 
we'll make it green just to have a different color and uh, let's put it up here so I can see what I'm doing I'll use this yellow ellipse which you remember I followed the the bowl with this trim I'm gonna trim my green square get rid of my ellipse now I want to trim my chili with this my soup trim ding and that is a fairly realistic um, illustration of uh, or a photograph of, of some soup in a bowl now it's not perfect I could work harder on it I don't really like the hard edge this edge here looks a little wrong but for the purpose of the video I think that's going to be okay so what did we learn? We learned the trim tool. We learned the um, clone tool to make the extra soup. We learned uh, how to switch between Corel Draw and Photo Paint. We learned how to use uh, vector objects to create not only masks in Photo Paint, but uh, tools to trim our bitmap like we did here. And um, you can use a combination of these tools or whatever you decide to do, uh, but this is a good way to work with some photos and create what you want, even if you can't fi uh, find the exact photo you want to use. So practice with some of these techniques, and I think you'll use them quite often, and I hope your next project goes well.